is Premier Club worth it? When you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. So what exactly is Premier Club? Well, they call it, or Jagex calls it, an enhanced membership subscription, usually available from December to January. However, it's November. Now, what I like to call Premier Club is a discounted membership package, which you pay up front and you get a few little cosmetic bonuses and some little extras. It's nothing too special, but it is discounted membership. The reason I say discounted is because it is cheaper. However, you must consider the fact that Jagex is a business and they're trying to make more money because they know that some players who will buy the gold premier package, which is 12 months, might not play for 12 months and therefore they actually make more money by selling discounted membership because if a player would pay per month for let's say six, seven months and then quit, they would have made less money than having that player pay upfront for an entire year of membership even if it's discounted. So let's quickly go over the different packages and the money you save per package. Also, I'm not making this video for Jagex. If you think they're trying to make me make a video about Premier Club, I'm not telling you to buy it. I'm just informing you about Premier Club membership in case you didn't already know. So with Premier Club, you have the bronze three month membership package, the silver six month and gold 12 month package. What do I mean by package is you pay upfront for the entire three, six or 12 months, and then you don't have to worry about, you know, recurring payments at all. With the regular membership, you have the one month recurring plan, three months package and 12 months package, which are a lot more expensive. Now you can see the price per month in euros, just divided by the amount of months in Excel. Now one euro is about 1.11 American dollars or US dollars as of right now. I don't know about the other currencies in other countries because I live in Europe, so I can't really show you. Or you can see the amount of money you save versus regular membership, which is a recurring one month plan costing 9.5 euros each month. You can see with the Gold Premier Club package, if you do end up playing an entire year and you're sure of it, you can save a whopping, well, almost 34 euros, which is like 40 bucks, which is a lot of money to save using Gold Premier, but that's only if you plan to play for an entire year. Otherwise, it may not be worth spending that much because you might be overpaying if you won't play those 12 months. You can also see the amount of euros you save versus regular membership with a one-time payment. For example, the Bronze Premier Club package is 23.49 or just 0.5 euros. And the regular membership package of three months is 26. So you save around 2.5 euros buying the Prons Premier package. And that's not really much of a discount if I'm being entirely honest. It's very, very minimal, but it is a discount nonetheless. There's no six month normal membership package, at least not on the website. And comparing the Gold Premier package to a regular membership package of 12 months, you save around 9.05 euros, which is again, not that much, but it's a small amount of money saved. Now I am aware that some people, in fact, one of my friends actually have the grandfather membership price, which means if you have been a member with a recurring membership plan for years and years, your membership most likely will be cheaper per month than even the gold premier club member package. So premier might not be worth it for you unless you really want those cosmetic rewards, the little pets, you know, the tokens and stuff like that. Now, what exactly are those benefits of the Premier Packages? Well, with the Bronze Package, you really don't get that much. You get the Premier Artifact, which is a still, I believe, a 10% XP boost for one hour. You can use some other things, reset an aura once a day. Uh, you get the Bright Inquisitor's Outfit. You get access to the Premier Pass event, and that's pretty much it. And apart from that, you just get a small discount for your membership price. Silver is a bit of a weird one. You get an additional daily key. You get the premium artifact as well, the outfit, which you really shouldn't care too much about, honestly. And other than that, really nothing else. You just get that extra key. But you do get 50,000 loyalty points so you can get the auras you want to get sooner. You know, and you get one premier club reward token. And other than that, it really isn't that much better. I think if you're going to get premier club, you either are a very dedicated player, so you get it the 12 month, or the bronze one. I don't think there's much reason to get the silver one unless you plan to go for max and you know you can get it in six months. That's just my opinion though. It might just be the perfect package for you. And then we have gold premier club membership, which is the biggest membership package, giving you 12 months of membership. 
With the Gold Premier Membership Package, you of course get access to the Vault Distraction and Diversion, which gives you some monthly extra, you know, Prismatic Stars, Silverhawk Down, Protein Packs and stuff like that, depending on your RNG. More on the Vault later. You get an additional Treasure Hunter Key, you get three Premier Club Award Tokens, which can be redeemed for pets, previous Cosmetic Premier Club Rewards, and stuff like that. You get a 50% discount on Room Metrics for 12 months, which is, uh... It should just be in the package, in my opinion. But, you know, you're getting discount for something and you're already a Premier Club Gold member, but you're not getting Rumentrix. Bit strange. I'm still a bit upset about that. It just should be in the package. You get one free boss instance per week, which is, I think, new compared to Premier Club 2019. So that could be useful for next or something because the instances are pretty expensive. You get 6,000 oddments, which is going to get you some extra treasure hunter keys or pulse cores. You also get yourself 50 extra bank spaces, an extra roll on lootscape, so you get some extra hunter marks or beans from watching runescape streams. I'm not entirely sure why that is a big benefit, but that's nice, I guess. Access to the Premier Pass event, of course, and you get that blue chat badge in-game, which shows you're a VIP member of RuneScape, which is a very cool benefit. I do like that badge myself. It adds something, I guess. It looks cool. That's pretty much it. But if you're a dedicated player, this is a great way of showing your dedication to the game and your support to Jagex. However, we are going to be talking about that support because you may or may not want to pay Jagex upright after the things they have done. What I mean by that is this may be controversial, this entire video may be, but some people are against buying Premier Club because they don't want to pay Jagex, you know, straight away the full amount of money because they have lost a bit of their trust, which I do understand. And for that reason, you may not want to buy Premier Club. I'm just going to be saying that in this video. But at the end of the day, if you're going to be buying membership recurring, you might just end up paying them more over the period of 12 months if you aren't sure if you're going to be quitting or not. With that out of the way though, is Premier Club worth it? In my opinion, it always is worth it if you are a big fan of RuneScape and you plan to play for a long time and you have a lot of ambitious goals because it's mainly a discounted membership package and who doesn't want to save money? If you don't want to save money, that's stupid because saving money is important as you can spend that money on other things IRL instead. If you're a new player looking to get membership for the first time and you're sure you're going to be enjoying RuneScape for a long time, get the bronze package. If you're unsure on how much you're going to be playing, don't buy Premier Club as you may end up wasting it. If you are sure you're going to be playing for an entire year, you love Jagex, you love RuneScape, you love the game, you're addicted to it or whatever, you should go for the gold package and for its benefits. If you're in between, you could go for the silver one, but I just recommend going for a recurring membership plan instead as you can cancel it anytime and then you'll only lose a few weeks of membership price. It is more expensive per month though, so keep that in mind. With that being said though, let's quickly cover what the Vault D&D &D actually is and what it's like. You start the D&D &D by going to the regular Grand Exchange with no items equipped whatsoever, including auras. You can just enter the Vault once a month as a Premier Club Gold member. What you want to do is open as many medium to large chests as you can while walking as little as you can as you have one minute to collect as much loot as you can. You want to save the chest in the middle which is actually the biggest one for the last few seconds because when the timer ends it doesn't matter if you're opening a chest because you can actually finish opening that chest and that's why it's the most efficient to open that chest last as it takes longer and you can actually extend that one minute by just opening that final chest. So yeah, focus on opening medium to large to huge chests with as little walking as possible because when you're walking, you're wasting seconds. Though it is worth to walk towards a huge chest instead of opening a few small ones on the way. This is just a nice addition to being a Gold Premier Club member and I believe in December, every single member can go into the vault once. I'm not entirely sure if it will be the same this year, but you might as well check. And with that being said, I hope this video helped you choose the right membership package for you and inform you a bit more about the Premier Club rewards and benefits you get from buying a bigger package. Also, before I end the video off, I just want to thank you guys once more for 25,000 subscribers. It's a massive milestone and it means a huge amount to me. I know that's cliche to say, but really, thank you guys so, so much. Catch you guys later. Peace.